Third, your efforts to choke off the digital asset ecosystem, which has created real harm for consumers and our markets, is clear to all. You said the law is clear, but your actions have created more confusion and lasting damage. Chair Gensler, you've also said your goal is consumer protection. Yet your actions have pushed legitimate digital asset activities outside of regulated financial institutions where consumers are best protected. On one hand, we've seen bipartisan votes in Congress, in this committee, to provide clear rules of the road and real consumer protection. And on the other, we've seen your ad hoc regulatory regulation by enforcement approach to digital assets on a losing streak in the courts. You refuse to be transparent with Congress regarding your interactions with FTX and Sam Bankman-Fried. That's the investigation we started last Congress. Finally, your lack of responsiveness to this committee's legitimate oversight continues to be unacceptable. And I want to finish here. In February, the committee made multiple requests for documents to the Securities Exchange Commission. This is normal congressional oversight. Yet seven months later, the committee has not received a single non-public document that was not part of a FOIA production. As I said, our patience is wearing thin. The SEC is not above the law, nor is it unique. Other financial regulators have routinely complied with congressional oversight. So let me be clear. I do not want to be the first chairman of this committee to issue a subpoena to the Securities Exchange Commission. And you should not want to be the first SEC chair to receive a congressional subpoena. Either we find a path forward where the SEC recognizes Congress is a co-equal branch of government and is responsive to our oversight duties, or my option is to issue a subpoena. It's time for you to consider the lasting consequences of your action, uh, your actions, and what that means to the Securities Exchange Commission's reputation long term. While your time in this role may be temporary, the repercussions for your actions may be permanent for the agency. I yield back. Follow me to the end for more. Watch this new video now. Hello and welcome to our channel. Here's the newest XRP and cryptocurrency news. If this is your first time watching our movies, welcome. To avoid missing movies, click the bell symbol. You only need to subscribe, like this video, and comment with XRP. I respond like a US politician. Sec Chairman Gensler, you're problematic. Ask comprehensive questions to engage. Dear sirs, how well do people follow orders? We choose the easiest or hardest road. Requesting user written content. Now, President Michelle Rep. Maxine Waters is rashly. taking a different stance, the words make Gary calling her Republican colleagues Gensler MAGA Republicans inaction, managing and putting the blame properly. for a possible Workers government must shutdown do their on jobs. them. Waters is giving Gensler some big issues. props, saying, You're doing shortage. exactly what the American Endurance public is wants. The ability to work hard Look intellectually or physically for lengthy a periods. Default. And now Moody's is also considered ring downgrading the U.S. rating if Republicans and Trump get the shutdown they so desperately want. I hope we can discuss today how undermining the SEC's mission by furloughing 90% of your staff will affect this country and your ability to protect our markets. That said, I want you to know that you're doing exactly the job that the American people want. Under your leadership, the SEC is providing investors uh, with the information they need to evaluate climate change risk you are reforming the stock market, which failed investors during the GameStop trading event. And you are working to empower investors to exercise their votes over companies they own. I'm also pleased to see that you're finalizing rules that will bring transparency to private funds, like private equity funds. And although Republicans will likely claim that the SEC is implementing too many rules too quickly. The fact is that you're moving thoughtfully and effectively. In fact, your SEC has issued fewer rules than the Trump, Obama, and Bush administrations at this point in their tenure, and you've provided twice as much time to comment than is required by law. The SEC is very much implementing the priorities that I and my Democratic colleagues championed when we were in charge and is shaping up to be the most pro-worker, pro-investor, pro-small business SEC since FDR created the agency. Chair Gensler, I appreciate that you're here today, even as you and your staff prepare to close the agency. I hope that if nothing else comes of this hearing, the American people will understand that this extreme MAGA Republican shutdown is the biggest threat to our nation's investors, small businesses, and working families. My patient is wearing thinner 
than the chairman's patient. Let's get on with it. Gary gets guidance from machinery. Gensler also suggested a warrant. Avoid starting here, US chairman. Sequel benefit. Representative Maxine may be called to the House for involvement. Waters disagrees. Students learn about mega Republicans and responsibility. The government may withdraw aid. Waters likes Gensler. The assignment must be done well. US people prefer Maxine Waters recently spoke to Gary. Gensler does the same. Americans want leaders and a nation. Disengagement from politics is obvious. What she says about Americans is accurate. She advises the Biden administration to consider Senator Maxine Waters' comments on Democrats. The writer is serious. No rewriting, strange incident. Her detachment from reality is astounding. Our true desires she doesn't know. It's Gary Gensler and Bitcoin and Money World conversation. In truth, their actions are foolish. What happens to suppress creativity? Can frustration exist? Gary Gensler appears sincere. Some Americans doubt she has it. Knowing our aims, to Americans the world is one. I expect the US to accept crypto. She develops laws without these constraints. It angers rep Tom Emma, Gary Gensler and the person converse. Gary Gensler works alone and with colleagues. This government agency reports to me and Congress. SEC Chair Gary Gensler is going to testify before the House Financial Services Committee. And boy, does he have a lot to answer for. Under Gary Gensler's leadership, I would say failed leadership, the SEC has been an incompetent cop on the beat. Throughout his career, Gensler has been relentlessly loyal to the biggest institutions at the expense of everyday Americans. Today, he's going to face some important questions about that. Gary Gensler has worked to consolidate his own power, even though it means crushing opportunities and, frankly, the financial future of this country. This strategy hasn't been successful for him. As you note, the SEC continues to lose again and again in the courts on its crusade against digital asset in, uh, uh, innovation. So it should be increasingly obvious that the crypto industry is not an industry rife with noncompliance. Rogue bureaucrats like Gary Gensler are supposed to be working for the people, not reigning over them. I, for one, would like to see the SEC return to its mission and make sure that they protect opportunities for every American who wants to participate in the greatest capital markets in the world. Digital asset innovation is an important part of that. Despite what Gary Gensler thinks, he is not a government of one. He is a bureaucrat who answers to Congress, and I look forward to having him before our committee today. You refuse to be transparent with Congress regarding your interactions with FTX and Sam Bankman-Fried. That's the investigation we started last Congress. Finally, your lack of responsiveness to this committee's legitimate oversight continues to be unacceptable. And I want to finish here. In February, the committee made multiple requests for documents to the Securities Exchange Commission. This is normal congressional oversight. Yet seven months later, the committee has not received a single non-public document that was not part of a FOIA production. As I said, our patience is wearing thin. The SEC is not above the law, nor is it unique. Other financial regulators have routinely complied with congressional oversight. So let me be clear. I do not want to be the first chairman of this committee to issue a subpoena to the Securities Exchange Commission. And you should not want to be the first SEC chair to receive a congressional subpoena. Either we find a path forward where the SEC recognizes Congress is a co-equal branch of government and is responsive to our oversight duties, or my option is to issue a subpoena. It's time for you to consider the lasting consequences of your action, uh, your actions, and what that means to the Securities Exchange Commission's reputation long term. While your time in this role may be temporary, the repercussions for your actions may be permanent for the agency. Gary requests Green formally. Consider lightweight options and ETF for Bitcoin spot trading. Huge impact on Bitcoin. A Bitcoin trend may commence. Bitcoin's rise versus science and nature make cryptocurrencies work. The first cryptocurrency Bitcoin could be crucial to the digital money world. Discuss it with politicians. They pressure heavily. This must be done immediately. They must accept the agreement. Some spot Bitcoin ETF, ARK proved their dedication to game creation when BlackRock asked. Show substantial institutional resource growth. Economic means may change things. Bitcoin market newcomer. Bullish topic. The Bitcoin boom last year as circumstances worsened, some gave up. When things changed, trust fell. A lot of anxiety, I think we can. Wanting blockchain market growth, think about cryptocurrencies origins. 
If nothing else is known, those with at least $1 million in the past, they kept tokens, seeing their influence on the Chiefs may offer them strength during this difficult time. XRP rapid climb is next. Burning takes time. Markets, I would say, if a company were deciding to go public or raise offerings, uh, they'd want to go effective before Friday if they're ready to. Um, if not, they might be in a, in a sort of a sublim subliminal state where they can't access the markets uh, because we can't effectively review those. Let, let me redirect you for a second to, okay, companies raising capital, but your SEC is a whipping boy, you know that. Um, but the truth is, the organization is full of people who are out there prosecuting fraud, who are stopping insider trading. Um, are we going to see if there is a meaningful shutdown, fraud go unprosecuted, insider trading, just you won't have the capacity to address these things, which hurt the American public, correct? Yeah. While okay. somebody can still file a tip complaint and referral, somebody can file a whistleblower, there won't be the people on the other side to really review it and investigate it. Thank you. Okay, speaking of insider trading, Mr. Chairman. Um, Securities Act 1934 violation, it will be 90 years since the accident in 2023. People who support Gary Gensler's job find it absurd. Lives are lived. Current laws determine the framework. Find out when laws were created and died long ago in 1934. Web investors before. Real-time data is provided. Despite alternative options, you continue. Disclosure problems aid case comprehension. Maintaining your abilities is crucial. 1940s disapproval. Actual dishonesty is shown. Put people first. Hey everyone, this video is over. Please like the video if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. This explains YouTube well. Sharing this movie with as many people as possible will enlighten others as it did you. Guys, share this news. Do not miss our cryptocurrency posts if you love them. Tomorrow, we must discuss the latest news. See you then.